Hey folks, it's me, M64 Bros. And today, I'm gonna tell you guys the story of Masahiro Sakurai. So, without no further delay, let's smash right into his story. Masahiro Sakurai is basically the same guy that made this cute little puffball, Kirby. In 1994, he was working on a beta game called Dragon King the Fighting Game, which was a concept of the original Super Smash Bros. 64. But Sakurai felt that the game needed an atmosphere and more stubble for a home console game. So he eventually came up with the idea to use Nintendo characters as a better alternative. That's how Super Smash Bros. 64 was made. Super Smash Bros. 64 was a massive success in 1999. It had over 5.55 million units sold worldwide, 2.3 million in the US, and 1.4 million copies in Japan. During that time, it was a successful masterpiece. Nintendo GameCube was in development and it was getting ready to release in 2001. And it was its competitor against Xbox and PlayStation. During the development of the GameCube, Masahiro Sakurai invented another Smash Bros. game, which was the sequel to Super Smash Bros. 64. It was officially called Super Smash Bros. Melee. During Super Smash Bros. Melee, development, the characters that appeared on the N64 didn't appear on the GameCube yet. So Sakurai ended up using characters from the N64 era and giving them a more modernized realism look, and by the looks of it, it was very successful at the time. So Super Smash Bros. Melee was a massive bestseller and a success. The game itself sold 7 million copies worldwide. During that time, it was a masterpiece of its own. Super Smash Bros. Brawl was released in January 31st, 2008. It introduced a bunch of new characters, as well as new movesets as well. Also adding more realism character designs and characters we've never seen before in the modern era. The game itself has sold 13.32 million units sold as of March 31st of 2020. During that time, it was a successful hit. As the years went by, the Nintendo Wii U was coming out, along with the 3DS, and people were like, what is the next Smash game? Is it still coming out? Is it going to be called Smash Universe? Well, let me show you some screenshots of the development of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U right now. These are all screenshots of the behind the scenes of making the game. And the ideas and like concept ideas like how is the 3DS going to work with Smash and moving away from the realism. And then a few months later, Smash for Wii U and 3DS was released. It. Here is footage of Super Smash Bros for Nintendo 3DS. In the 3DS version, the characters are super small. So Sakurai had the idea to outline the characters so they're easier to see from far away. By the looks of it, it looks like it looks like a better alternative. So that way, like you can like easily see the fighters and their player one icons. And yeah, if even if they weren't outlined, they would be hard to see. And the fighters move at 60 frames per second. Very perfect. Here's what the Wii U version of Smash Bros. looks like. As you can see, the colors are more high quality and HD. And it runs very, very smoothly. I actually love the detail of Mario's overalls, like it's more like cleaner and less darker than the Brawl version. And of course, if you have both versions of the game, it can be a controller or a transfer as well. But of course, my favorite thing about the game are the Amiibos. And let me tell you something, that was a day that shook my brain of excitement and I was hyped of joy when these were announced. Like how to figure directly from the Smash series was a dream come true. Back in 2014 when the game was released, I legit pre-ordered the Mario Amiibo and I received it the same day Smash for Wii U was released. 
and I still have the amiibo still to this day. It's far about went off, but that's okay. And yep, it still functions ever since 2014. And of course, just like that, the game itself was also a successful hit. It had over 9.62 million copies sold for the 3DS, and the Wii U version sold over 5.38 million copies as of September 30th, 2020. Around 2017 of March, we were introduced to a new console called the Nintendo Switch. And of course, along its lineup, we officially got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which was Sakurai's ultimate masterpiece. And it was Iwata's final wish for Sakurai before Iwata sadly passed away in 2015. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was a magnificent masterpiece that Sakurai made. It had 15.71 million copies sold. And it had every single fighter from the previous game. And it's officially a masterpiece. And today it sold 23.84 million copies in a row. Making Smash Ultimate wasn't pretty easy for Sakurai, like in my opinion, like. I'm sure it was a lot of hard work for his team, and his team and himself worked very hard, especially during the COVID times. And now that Smash Ultimate's finally over, along with its DLCs, Sakurai himself deserves a big huge vacation. Like, I'm betting right now he is having the best vacation of his life, along with his wife. Also, Iwata would be very proud of him after Smash Ultimate's massive success. Like I said earlier, Iwata's final wish for Sakurai was to make Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before he died, which was finally successful. So I'm betting right now Sakurai is already having the best vacation of his life. He definitely needed a vacation, like, he deserved it and needed it very badly. Usually I love Nintendo video games, but in reality, I care and respect for the developers. And I'm guessing Sakurai's team is already on vacation as well. So, yeah. Other than that, hope you guys love this video all about Sakurai's projects, including a little bit of Sakurai himself. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace out.